everyone! I have some more videos for you guys today. Um, I finally finished my 30 Days of Bliss book. And I am excited because it feels really good to finish a project. Let's get to it. This is the cover. Uh, I kept it the same. The only thing I changed was the sticker here. I had originally started this a long time ago. Um, and then I kind of like revamped it for um, 30 Days of Lists. So I took out what I had here because it was like stuck and I couldn't get it removed. So I just took out the whole sticker and I redid it with 30. And um, I showed you the first two pages already. So I'm not going to go through that again. The first one is goals and the second one is uh, dinner party guests. So um, I guess I'm going to start from page three because this is new. So page three is number three which says I am looking forward to and I wrote, this is like um, a pocket page. The book was already made and I just added some washi tape and just some random um, stickers. And then I made this page for the pocket and I just like layered some uh, Amy Tan paper. I just really wanted to get rid of my old stuff. And so it says, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to visiting Jen in Calgary. She's my friend. My big brother, Pretty Little Liars and True Blood for, you know, the, the summer shows that I like to watch. Um, what else does it say? Just random things. This was um, June 3rd, so it says Punk You Girl blog goes live on Friday, uh, June 7th, which is um, the, the challenge blog that I'm part of. I'm part of the design team, so I was really excited for it to start. And then it says here, not looking forward to uh, just work and some random stuff. Some things are personal, so I might not read them out loud, but, um, yeah. So this one is number four. What I did here was I just took an Amy Tan paper and then used a lot of my new washi tapes. And I just kind of, like, made a blocked sort of, like, the background was too busy. And then I took one of the smash pads and, um, so basically the fourth day is today's playlist. And I just wrote some songs I've been listening to, I guess, at that time. Um, there's some... Young and the Giant, there is Florence and the Machine, and um, Lana Del Rey, and Alkaline Trio. And then number five is Favorite Scents and Smells, and I wrote, let me try to read this, because I'm reading this upside down. Um, okay, so the smell of fireplace, like in the fall, you know that wooden burnt smell, I love it. Cinnamon, pumpkin spice, vanilla, the Dior Attic perfume, onion and, onions and garlic, uh, cooking in a pan. I love that smell when you're like frying onions and and, and like garlic. It smells so amazing. <laughs> um, what is that? Basil and mint, citrus and lemon, my cats, don't ask. <laughs> the smell of book pages, fresh water, um, what is that? Fresh bread and baked goods. Number six is fictional places I'd like to live. And I just, the page was already pretty much decorated. I just added some stickers and did this little, like, cluster over here. And number one is Hogwarts. Number two is Sunnydale. And number three is I'd Like to Visit the Night Circus, which is a book by Erin Morganson. Yeah, Morgan Stern or something like that. And then number seven, I know I'm getting old when. And what do I have here? When telling, when talking to 18-year-olds and they're, they've never heard of um Foofs and Mad Hatters. These are two bars that I used to go to when I was 18. And talking to people and they don't know what it is, it's just like, oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> and then uh, number two, when the last episode of Buffy aired over 10 years ago, crazy. Um, when I say word, you know, like that slang people would say word in like the 2000s, like 2003, 2005, people would always say word. And then I say that sometimes like to my friends and they just look at me like, I, I, what is that? What do you mean, word? <laughs> so kind of. Kind of funny. What else is there? People, when people don't know who Lamb Chops is, and there's a lot of these, like people don't know who Gem and the Holograms is, like the show, or like, you know, Lamb Chops, or any other show, like Darkwing Duck, and stuff that I used to like watching when I was a kid, when people don't know what that is, it's like, oh my god. Number five, it says I graduated from high school eight years ago. Yikes. And then number six is when my first warp tour was over ten years ago, in 2003 crazy. Yeah, so, um, again, using some stickers that I had in my stash. I really like this page, how, how it turned out. Number eight is what's in my bag. So I just took a picture of my purse and everything that's inside it. 
So it says agenda, wallet, hand lotion, Kleenex, random receipts, keys, hair elastic, lip stuff, iPod, sunglasses, what is that? Business cards and stickers for my company, Opus card and uh, like a little pill box. That's that page right here. Number nine is favorite blogs and sites, and I separated these into categories. So my favorite sites are Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, Blogger, and Etsy. My favorite sites for shopping is Custom Crop, Scrapbooking Warehouse, Simon Says Stamp, and Etsy. My favorite blogs are The Octopod Factory, Stamp Boutique, um, Heidi Swap's blog, The Catherine Wheel, and um, Smashaholics group, the Facebook group of uh, Smashaholics, and now the Daybook one is really good too. And to be honest, these lists are not finished. When I think of things, I'm just going to add them in. So this one, like right here, there's so much space left for my like, what's on my wish list. So whenever I think of something, I'll just add it in. Number 10 is, again, on my wish list. And I wrote um, more honey swap sprays, which I got all of them I wanted in my recent haul. So um, I'm excited about that. It has Big Shot Cameo, one or the other. Like I just uh, basically a die cutting machine. A new smartphone, or just a new phone in general. I don't have a smartphone. That'd be cool to have because I really want Instagram. <laughs> um, new sneakers, which I got over the weekend in my haul. And then it says golden paints. I would love to try using some golden paints, but they're kind of pricey. The next page is one of my favorites. It's again a pocket page, and it says my favorite movies. And I created this really cute um, insert. I love how it turned out. I used some washi tape and this is just some stickers that I've had. They're like a, a movie themed stickers. And yeah, like, I love it. Okay, so basically, let me read this. So it says my favorite movies. And I have a lot of them. Probably some I even forgot to mention on this. But um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Beetlejuice, Moulin Rouge, 10 Things I Hate About You, Super Bad, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus, Great Gatsby, which was, oh my god, amazing. I just, I love it because I love Moulin Rouge and it's the same director and it's just a beautiful movie. Uh, Lion King, Aladdin, Me Without You. Guys, you need to watch it. I love it. This is the end. Oh, I recently watched it like two, three weeks ago and it's so freaking hilarious. I love those people. I love those guys. I love that group of people like Jed, the, um, the Jed Apatow group. Love it. And I wrote Pineapple Express because you can't forget that one. I love comedies and musicals and Halloween movies, like cute Halloween movies, not scary movies. I can't watch scary movies. Um, yeah, I really like how this turned out with the stickers I used. Really cute. I even like, and the remaining of this, like, I added up here. So, yeah. Number 12, because I spoke about my favorite movies, I've talked about my favorite shows, and there's just as many. Um, Buffy, of course, Freaks and Geeks, Grey's Anatomy, Veronica Mars, love it, can't wait for the movie, Dollhouse, Walking Dead, How I Met Your Mother, Pretty Little Liars, Big Brother, Suits, Once Upon a Time, True Blood, Big Bang Theory, Two Broke Girls, Nurse Jackie, Girls, Whitney, but I think they got cancelled, so sad, um, Misfits, which is a British show, and it's freaking amazing, it's about these, um, teenagers who get superpowers, but... A lot of bad things happen, and um, season one and two was like my favorite. I have I stopped watching it because it was just you know things change and start pissing me off. But I I really need to finish that season four, and then Sons of Anarchy. And uh, number thirteen is events I would like to attend, and I love some space here because I think I'm gonna add one more, but I I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> so number one is CHA. That would be amazing to attend CHA. Number two is a Buffy reunion. How awesome would that be? Number three is AFI Show, which is my favorite band of all time. So they're coming out on UCD and I can't wait to see them live. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Number four is Marina Show. I already went in May, but I want to go again. She's amazing live. I love Marina. And then number five would be, you know, it'd be cool to go watch a movie premiere. And number six is The Used Live, which is another one of my favorite bands. And I've seen them a couple times, but it's been a long time, so I would really love to see them again. Number 14, things I love about today. Uh, our YouTube hop went live. Um, I spoke about this before. I have other videos on my on my um, YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel about our YouTube blog. So you guys should check it out. It's still available to watch. It's always going to be available to watch. Um, number two is I made a cute girly card for a little girl who just got out of the hospital. Um, number three is 
what does that say? I received positive feedback on a Stamp Boutique Facebook page. Oh, on the Stamp Boutique Facebook page of an art journal page I posted. And then number four is I spent um, some time shopping with my mom. One of those things I loved about June 14th. And then another pocket page. I love how this one turned out. This is where I use my new a neon washi tape. And then again here, these are just some random things I want to get rid of, some stickers. So this comes out and it says number 15. Everything I bought this week. So ice cream with Amanda, this is the end movie. Floss, face wash, lotion, stuff like that. Asthma pump, yeah yogurt, which is like a frozen yogurt. Which I always wanted to try it out and I finally did. And then I added some of these cute little stickers that I've had in my stash for a long time. Number 16. Um, this one was a little tricky for me. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I, there's no one really out there that um, I guess I would call my celebrity crush. Except for one, and he will always be my ultimate crush. And, his, and that was um, Heath Ledger. Um, it's really sad that um, he passed away, but... He is always my crush. And this page comes out and I did this little um, collage thingy here. I really like how that looked. Like I could leave it on its own like this too because he is my ultimate favorite crush. But um, I have this little insert too with some other people. I kind of had trouble finding some. but um, So number two would be Ollie Murs. He's this British singer. Um, he's really cute. And then number three is Seth Green. Um, I don't know, I think he's cute, um, he's really, he's a funny guy, and I like funny people, and, um, he looked really good in This Is The End, and I don't know, his legs look really good. <laughs> uh, number four is Davey Havoc, he's a, the singer of AFI, and number five is M Shadows, um, his real name is Matt Sanders, he's the lead singer of, of, um, Avenged Sevenfold, and for those of you watching this video who like Avenged Sevenfold, I'm so excited for the new album, can't wait. And then again, I also added, um, and then I also added some of my girl crushes. Um, so Marina Diamandis, which is um, Marina and the Diamonds, the singer, well, her. <laughs> number two is Sarah Michelle Gellar, and number three is Kat Dennings. And then I made a little honor honorable mentions. So I have Mr. Fitz from Pretty Little Liars, Nick Zano, or Zano, when he was in Two Broke Girls, James Franco when he was in Freaks and Geeks. Jason Siegel, I love him, and then Charlie from Girls and Jack from Sons of Anarchy. I mean, these people grow on you, you know. So I guess that would be my my crushes. And this page here um, was already on in the book, so I just answered the questions. And it says, currently listening to the wind and noises outside my window, eating. I had some popcorn and some nectar soda tonight. Drinking water, wearing my black white beater. Purple polka dot socks and my skull PJ bottoms. Feeling um, some knee pains, a little tired and a little hungry. Wanting to finish this 30 days of list book. Needing a vacation, a beach, sun and a tan. Thinking, because of the previous question, I am now thinking that I want to go, to go swimming. Enjoying my new room. And number 10 is creating. It says I'm going to make my July entry for Punk You Girl later today and work on this book and possibly make an art journal page. This one, um, I really like how it turned out. It used to look like this over here, which is like a purple foiled like stripe one. I covered it with some washi tape. This is like one of my new dollar store washi tapes and it's so cute. I like how the page came out. So I thought that was really cute and it says five things on my bucket list and uh, number one is visit the pyramids in Egypt. Um, one of my like ultimate goals, I would love to go see Egypt. Go zip lining, go to Paris, find a career that I love, and ride an elephant. Because, you know, that would be cool. <clears throat> so, number 19. Uh, must, what is it? Road trips, road trip must haves. I love this sticker. I should buy more. <laughs> the alphas are really cute. So it says, comfy shoes and clothes, number two, money, number three, good music, and I wrote Against Me because that's like my second favorite band, and they have really fun, I would like to consider road trip songs. And then number four, makeup and my medication, number five, snacks and water, and number six, a camera.